Okay, so this is the the list of restaurants, nearby restaurants. So we're just taking it like under the assumption that these restaurants are under 30 minutes to our current location, okay? So if we open the first one, for example, then we're going to use our current location against the location of the of that particular restaurant to calculate the distance, the cost and the time it takes for for them to to deliver the food. Of course, the time is going to be a little bit different because you need to add time to to prepare and stuff, but this is just the delivery time. So we're going to be using a distance matrix Google API with the name distance metric to achieve this. So this is working already. And if you open a restaurant and you go to pick up, let's say you are closer to the restaurant and you want to just pick the food by yourself. You don't want to have a delivery service. You go to pick up. There's a map of the, that will show you like the location of the restaurant and your current location in some polygon lines to just give you a direction of where you're going. So if you click on get directions, you're being you're going to be redirected to the map. If you want to use the map, then you can just type in the address, the provided address, and then you can just get the directions to, to that particular restaurant. So let's move on to see like how dynamic our calculations are using the, the Google APIs. So if we come to the next, okay, let's skip this one. So this one is a little bit far. It's a little bit far. The distance between my current location and this restaurant is one kilometer and the price is $1 for a delivery. And the time it takes for, for a delivery to arrive to my place is four minutes. And the, the direction is provided here and you can do the same also get directions if you want to or just use this use this map to go where the restaurant is so this 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 price okay let's say you you you're purchasing something from this particular restaurant this price is going to be added to your total cost as delivery 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 price because it's not going to be a fixed rate. It's going to be dynamic according to your distance. So whenever someone makes an order, then they will have an added amount to their to their final bill, like the cost of delivery, something like that. So let's just take, for example, you're ordering something in here. Okay, adding a big mark. You want some cheese on it. So if you add cheese, your price will go up. If you add paper, the price go up. And let's say you want two of the same burger. Then the price now is just taking the total of the additives and this, the, the price of the Big Mac and multiply it by two. Okay, as for the carts, it's going to be like this. That's going to be the basic view of the card. So it's a model, so you can just bring it down. Same as for the orders. So if you're ordering something, this is where we are going to process our payments and order the food, okay? And as well as rating, if you're rating something, this is the rating, you just click your rating here and then you Go ahead and submit your rating. If you want to give a restaurant two star, one star, that's up to you. So that's basically about it. That's basically about it. And below is just the food. So if you click, you're directed to, to the food.